Men have heard about how badly men get treated in divorce courts. No matter what a woman does wrong, the man gets screwed, blued and tattooed. He gets raped and has to pay her for up to two decades. Marriage is only legalized prostitution. She gets all your money, tells you what you can or can't do, and leaves whenever she wants to do whatever. Oh, and yes, she uses sex to get her way. It's just best to pay for it so you don't have to live with it. Modern marriage is a living death for men. I remember a friend that loved his wife for a while, and she adored him, and they had three beautiful children, and still, it slowly descended into tedious, grinding, soul-crushing misery. Endless nagging, constant complaints, ungratefulness, squandering money, walking back promises about shared goals, cheating, selfishness, deranged behavior, everything every man tries to avoid. It began to unravel literally on the day of their wedding. It finally imploded after eight years when she commenced a legal battle that cost them over $50,000 in attorney fees. Their children are scarred for life. They despise each other with a red-hot hatred that my friend never would have thought possible. The real kicker, he thought he had gotten lucky when he met her. Here's the awful truth, no one teaches young men. Voluntary, love-based, monogamous marriage is impossible for the vast majority of people. Evolution favors variety. Deep in our unconscious brains, we are programmed by evolution to repel each other. Marriage at its core was never about love or emotional connection. It was about survival and social stability and gender-based division of labor in a pre-modern era when the lives of everyone in the family unit, especially children, depended on maintaining that bond. Marriage is a cultural adaptation, not a biological adaptation. Men are polygamous, women are hypergamous. We come from an alpha male or harem of females evolutionary dynamic, as do the vast majority of social species in the mammalian family. Geneticists have proven we have several times more female ancestors than male ancestors. Such societies are inherently unstable, however. Marriage was the solution to this problem that restrained our primitive sexual behaviors and allowed us to escape a Pleistocene era existence and create civilization. Modern technology and the police and welfare states have more efficiently solved most of the problems marriage was designed to solve in the first place. The practical origins of marriage are utterly lost on modern women and a lot of men to be honest. We have replaced it with an imbecilic model based on romantic love and voluntary commitment which simply does not work. Marriage's days were numbered with the onset of the Industrial Revolution. In the 1960s and 1970s, the religious, legal and social constraints that held most marriages together were dismantled. Worse still, we now have an antiquated family court system that punishes men but rewards women. Add in birth control, abortion on demand, smartphones, social media and dating apps. Failure is practically guaranteed. Women are never satisfied. It's in their DNA. Riffolt's law is real. Marriage must be externally enforced for it to survive in the vast majority of cases. Women are by nature materialistic, erratic, solipsistic, duplicitous, malcontented, emotionally dysregulated and irrational. When it comes to men, a woman's love is both opportunistic and extractive. A woman is a hole in the ground with no bottom that you pour your soul into. No matter how much attention or money you give her, it will never be enough. Just ask Will Smith, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos or Brad Pitt. I don't think it is biologically possible for a woman to be content in a relationship no matter who she is with. It makes perfect sense from an evolutionary perspective. Men simply cannot trust any women given the current family court system and modern women's ridiculous expectations and women's underlying nature. When divorce became an option for every woman at any time, for any reason, marriage became risk prohibitive for every man. No sane man would sign a modern marriage contract if he really knew what he was getting into. Hell is a wife. Marriage ruins men's lives. It will destroy your dreams. A wife will eat your soul. Being legally and financially at the mercy of a woman's emotions is an exhausting, grinding, slow-motion horror I can't even begin to describe. Marriage is nothing but a loaded gun pointed at a man's head, and the woman gets cash and prizes for pulling the trigger. Until the laws change, and society reverts to a rational model for marriage that is enforceable, no man should ever get married. Think about it. If you remove the desire to procreate and raise a family, 
why should a man get married? There really isn't a huge motivation to get married, if as a man, you do not desire children. The only other reasons I can think of are sex and companionship. The challenge with modern relationships is that things have changed, yet things still remain the same. Modern women want the best of both worlds. They want to be liberated women who have careers, have their own money, and are in control of their lives with no interference from a man. No problem with that, that's all good. However, the same women also have old-fashioned expectations of men and what a man's role should be, especially when it comes to money. They still want the man to be the provider and responsible for most, if not all, the financial responsibilities in the relationship. Quite a few modern women who are employed and earning good money still believe that my money is my money, your money is our money, thinking. These are the same women who will get offended if you ask them to make you a meal or something like that. You will be labelled as an old-fashioned male chauvinist who can't handle a strong, independent woman. For a man, it's a no-win situation. You're supposed to be old-fashioned when it comes to paying bills, but new age when it comes to something like taking care of the house, cooking, cleaning. These modern women are clowns. If you've enjoyed this video so far and you find it educational, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Back to the video. A friend of mine who is in her 40s and unmarried recently posted a Facebook post saying something to the effect that a woman should never help a man pay rent. Doesn't matter who's earning more as far as she's concerned. It's a man's responsibility to provide a roof over the family's head. As a man, I have no problem with that. What I do have is when the same woman calls me a chauvinist for asking for dinner. It's like there are clear rules of what's expected from a man, but very ambiguous rules on what's expected from a woman in a relationship. Sex? No. Only if she feels like it. It's her body, not yours. Cooking for you? No. Her mum used to do that for her dad and she's not going to do it for you because she's liberated and you can damn well cook for yourself. Cleaning the house? Get a maid, you old-fashioned chauvinist. So if a man doesn't desire kids or doesn't want a family, getting married has few benefits, if any benefits. Also, if a woman assaults her husband and he hits her back, he automatically goes to jail, but not her. In a divorce, a man can be put out of his home even if he paid for it completely. If they have children, he will only get custody 10 to 15% of the time. He will have to hand over as much as half his income for child support, alimony, or both. Many men have ended up in poverty or even homeless because of child support. Often, these men are not even allowed to see their children. Good thing Texas is now charging a fine for this, Mothers get charged $500 if they interfere with a child custody order. If the judge says the man gets to see his kid at the end of the week and you mess with that, you get fined. I think we're heading in a good direction. Back to the main point of the video. Marriage only benefits men if they're gay. Women are no longer capable of loving anyone but themselves, not even her own children. If she doesn't abort them, she will use them to blackmail a man. Marriage is a legal scam for men where men have no rights, just all the fucking responsibilities. Even if my so-called life partner cheated on me, I still have to pay money. No thanks, no marriage, happy life. I will never take that parachute, which has a 50% chance of failure. There are very few benefits in marriage for men, and women receive the vast majority of those benefits. Marriage and divorce laws have not been modified for modern culture, and you see all the suckers getting wiped out in divorce court. If I told you there was a 45 to 50% chance of your aeroplane crashing during air travel, would you fly regularly, if at all? Let us apply logic to the imbecilic institution of marriage. Anything with a 50% rate of failure is deemed as bad, inefficient, and flat out dumb to do. There is a major marriage industry, and with fewer marriages, lots of money will evaporate from all those venue sites and wedding planners' incomes. There is an interest to keep reeling in suckers, and they are highly successful in doing so. Well, not anymore. That's all for today on manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.